Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to TFTC Reimagined Let's Replay. I'm your host Angel, and today it's going to be a brand new mission. Sort of. Well, it, it is a brand new mission, but it is for an existing mission. And this is Battle 4 Mission 2. Um, this was another mission on my original recording that I had some issues with. Um, I didn't feel it's very well paced. I think it's a, a bit too difficult as well. Uh, the Y wings uh, that attacked you could be uh, rather problematic, um, and it wasn't too well, I think, uh, integrated or con continuity-wise with the previous mission in terms of the ships that you had. Because in Battle Four, Mission One, I added three Gazanti cruisers, which then don't show up at all for the, the rest of the campaign. Um, so I decided to at least have them show up in this mission as well. And uh, I've retroactively added a prevent order for Battle for Mission One, where they the cruisers must survive that mission. Research base where the technology is developed and stored. You will be flying a Thai bomber designated. So we're still flying a Thai bomber. That hasn't changed, but everything else has changed. Instead of again like in Battle Three Mission Two, where you're launched at a distance and uh, attacking the station, because because both missions are very similar in their structure, uh, originally speaking. And uh, in there, let nothing. In the changes I've made to Battle Three Mission Two, I've kind of taken a page out of the book of what I've done with this one in terms of how uh, the forces are initially arrayed. So, the frigate Seamus, the two modified corvettes, and the three Gazanti cruisers will be in a close formation, and you will start pretty close to the station already with an engagement range. And uh, yeah, it, it's it's very similar in the way it starts out. However, what's uh, noticeably different about this one? will be um, how the Seamus can come under attack, and we'll get to that in a moment. So I'm just going to let the rest of this briefing play out. ...screened from enemy counterattacks, and to provide close quarters support to our fighter squadrons. TIE bombers will engage the enemy corvettes and the main base itself. Assault gunboats and other TIEs will provide fighter cover. The facility must be completely destroyed. Hopefully, this will send a clear message to the Narwaks about the consequences of dealing with the rebels. Okay, so here we go. Just looking around my tie bomber, as you do. All right, so first off, straight away. The facility that we're attacking is completely different from the last one. Uh, before it was a manufacturing station, this time it's a cargo facility. This is again a stock station from um, X-Wing Alliance. But much like Battle 3 Mission 2, you can see a nice huge wave of torpedoes already going forward. Uh, some of these are going to the corvettes, others are going to the station, which is nice spread out of fire. Um, and the corvettes will initially try to uh, intercept a lot of this fire, so the station itself is not going to take too much significant damage straight away. Yes, yeah, so you're going to be immediately engaged by some Z95s that will target you and your comrades and the bombers. Um, but your most immediate threat here is going to be some Y wings. Now, I spent some time managing to put quite a number of craft in the hangar uh, specifically located. So in both hangars of this station, uh, there are craft just sitting there and we're going to do a bombing run on these craft because there's like 30 Y-Wings in here and then there's a bunch of skip ray blast boats and Z-95s as well. And within maybe, I think it's like a minute and a half or so, if you don't deal with these fighters sitting still, they will launch and all go for the, or at least the Y-Wings will all launch uh, in waves of three uh, every few seconds and all go for the Seamus. And there is no way you can stop and defeat that attack in time to save the Seamus if you don't destroy enough of the Y-Wings. Another aspect here in the other hangar is a uh, Rebel transport and several fighters. Now this transport, if you're uh, an avid watcher of Star Wars Rebels, you will notice this is the same model design as the Ghost. Uh, this is not the ghost itself, um, but uh, this, as you can engage and destroy this thing if you're quick enough. But uh, yeah, th this is a new model I've added for version 1.3. But yeah, I mean, one of the differences on, on Battle 4 Mission 2, one of the original ones, is that uh, 
some of the fighters surrounding that station were being recruited by shuttles. They had their pilots delivered by the shuttle, at least that's the way it was supposed to work. And then the fighters would uh, then power up and engage you or the other starships. So I decided, well, what if they're all just sitting in the hangar when we just suddenly attack and the pilots were getting to their ships and then all launched sort of at once? Uh, but also add this ability that rather than using your torpedoes as you would normally, uh, you know, just target the station and fire, you manually aim your torpedoes through to the hangar itself and destroy all the Y-Wings sitting on the ground before they launch. Uh, kind of taking a page out of the book of sort of, you know, traditional warfare. You know, if you can kill the planes on the ground before they take off, then the planes aren't a threat to you. And the bonus of this is that you will damage the station by doing this because the explosion splash damage will hurt the station. The subsequent explosions of the ships being destroyed in the, uh, inside the hangar will damage the station as well. Um, and it's uh, an opportunity for you to actually practice some actual manual aiming and firing. One aspect of X-Wing Alliance is when you get too close to a station or a starship is that you get your weapons jammed. Uh, this has actually been turned off for this specific uh, mission, or at least this station, so you can fly right inside the hangar and just launch your uh, torpedoes. You do have to be careful though because torpedo splash damage can quite easily blow up your TIE bomber as well, so I would advise trying to aim and fire um, you know, not too close at least. But uh, yeah, I thought it was uh, a nice idea to try and do it this way. So the only real threat uh, other than the Y-Wings is that you'll be engaged by some Z-95s here. And if you're not careful, of course, they can blow you up because your bomber is not particularly fast or maneuverable. And there are a bunch of other uh, freighters flying around here. They're not required for the total destruction. You can just engage them as you can. And uh, I put a lot more containers in a nice sort of arrayed formation here. But uh, you won't have to destroy each individual one because as you can see right ahead, the fleet has gotten close enough now that they're doing a lot of that job for you. The enemy corvettes that spawn at the start of this mission uh, will directly engage the Seamus and the other ships. They don't exactly present a uh, present rather a major threat to the Seamus. Uh, the Kazanti cruisers are the most likely to be damaged or destroyed by that, but there's no prevent condition because these cruisers won't show up again uh, for the rest of this uh, campaign. Ostensibly, they, you could just say they've been heavily damaged as a result of this mission and had to return back to uh, wherever they need to go to be repaired. But yeah, we can just enjoy this show of firepower uh, as we finish off the remaining containers. And there we go, job done. Ships aren't meant to turn like that, so th this mission is still in its beta form. There's still a couple of things just to uh, fix here, but other than that, it's, it's a very complete mission. All the dialogue's been done, and uh, yeah, I'm very pleased with how this one turned out. And th this was just something I did on a whim. I was just looking at the station, uh, sorry, looking at this mission, thinking, how could I make this better? And then just thought, ah, fuck it, I'm just going to redo it from scratch. And this is the result, and I'm, I'm quite pleased with that. And hopefully you will be pleased with it as well. So I will end this particular uh, video here. And next time we'll be looking at Battle 9, Mission 1, uh, the first battle, uh, first new mission of Battle 9 for Reimagined. And I look forward to showing that to you. Until then, good hunting.